Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how to take screenshots in Protractor or how to create a screenshot report in Protractor and this is going to be very simple and very interesting and I will go very basic step by step. So step number one is uh, I will go to my browser and go to Google and search for Protractor Jasmine Screenshot Reporter and here I have got this option Protractor Jasmine 2 Screenshot Reporter from npm so I'll go here and here this is a npm library and here we can use this library to capture screenshots and add them in a report so here we have all the steps the first one is we have to install this through npm so this is the command so I will use this so step number one is go to I'll just copy the link here and then I will say here run command and the command is this one so I will also highlight this so that it is easy for you to refer and all these notes will be available to you in the description or the notes section of this video so I will go to my Windows system you can also follow this on Mac and I will go to command line and I will just open my command line and copy this command so I'll copy it from here and this is the command npm install protractor jasmine 2 screenshot reporter minus minus safe minus dev and it is done if there are some warnings that is fine there should not be any errors and now this is done so this was step number one now step number two will be so if I go back to this web page here you can see how we have to use it so we have to add all this into our configuration file that is conf.js if I go to my visual studio code here this is the project that we have created earlier and you can see we have conf folder pages folder and tests folder where we have our test cases and here under the conf folder we have our configuration file that is conf.js and as of now it is a very simple configuration file that we got from protractor setup now I am going to add all this data so I have to use this as the first statement so I'll copy this and I'll also copy this and put it at the top so I have copied this and then uh, in the exports.config which is already here you can see exports.config whatever is already here I will keep it as it is and then at the end I will give a semicolon here or I'll just give a comma here I'll give a comma here and enter and then I will add all this setup of this particular library I'll copy this and paste it here so here step number two is copy the content in conf.js file and step number three will be save and run so now I have added everything I will save it and then I will go to my terminal I will go to new terminal I can also run from command line so now here is my terminal and here I will say protractor and I will go to the conf folder and I have my conf.js file here now even before I run this uh, you can see here 
it will create a target folder and it will create a folder called screenshots under the target flow folder and we will have our screenshots there and there will also be a report created by the name myreport.html where we can see an html report and if you go here uh, you can see here it will capture a screenshot after each executed test case and store the results in the HTML report but we have some options as well I will show you that as of now I will first run my test case and this is the same test case we have created earlier that runs on this super computer uh, super calculator application and that's it it is done and if you see we have got a target folder here now and if I expand this there is a a screenshots folder and we have our HTML report as well so if I go to the project folder this is my project folder here I have got this target folder created and inside the target folder I have screenshots and here is the screenshot file which shows me the screenshot so as mentioned on the website it takes a screenshot at the end of the test and then we have this HTML file where we get all these tests and a summary and if I click here it takes me to the screenshot of the test so as of now I have a single test if I have multiple tests it will show me all the test cases here and here we have some configuration for Jasmine browser name browser version platform and so on so uh, here if I go back to my this website and if I go down you can see some options so the destination directory is this and you can change it uh, then we have uh, this clean destination directory optional if you want to clean it you can set all these options here file name if you want to give uh, this is again you can provide a file name and then uh, these are some use external CSS use external JS all these are optional and then uh, if you want to capture only failed specs then you can also add this you can say capture only failed specs true so if you want to capture screenshots for only failed you can do this and report only failed specs again you can do the settings here and if you want to disable the summary in the report again that is optional all these options you can do from here so this is going to be very useful it will capture all your screenshots and you can get a report of out of that so i hope this was very useful thank you so much for watching